We are excited about this one. It's um. It's... And, and welcome. Oh, welcome! <laughs> really excited. We're Happy gonna jump, life. jump right in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're in the keep it simple section. We divided it into two parts, and this one starts with the traditional approach. So find that paragraph or or look for the text in. If you're in YouTube, it'll be in the description, and if you're okay. in Facebook, it'll be just right above. All right, so. This sentence is crazy. Okay, so the traditional approach to mindset slash positivity slash confidence slash energy management slash flow, etc., and da, da, da. any other things that you can put <laughs> is rather complex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I wanted to say that if I would have just said the traditional approach to mindset, just one of those mm -hmm. is rather complex in the traditional system. And so to say all five, the traditional approach to all five. So then what is the traditional approach to all five? Like, what is that? <laughs> and why is it complex? And we're going to explain how it is complex and it will help it make sense, but then also add additional layers about why it's even more complex than maybe you already realize. <laughs> so <laughs> it's funny because what we're sharing with you in Up Mastery is a simple, beautiful system but you have a lot of complexity already in your life that you're using. And so to kind of understand how you can um, make things more simple by, I just got my train of thought. Just, <laughs> the, the I heard the doorbell. <laughs> okay, so, uh, oh, okay, so complex. Um, on the spot, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, nope, it's gone. <laughs> You say something. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep it rolling. Here we go. <laughs> so she was saying that how it's so complex, just the idea of all the emotions and how you have thousands of words for different kinds of emotions. That's one layer of complexity. And one layer of the complexity of trying to understand mindset or energy management or confidence, in it, if they're considered to be separate systems, it's, so you were saying it was a beautiful, one of the beautiful things about the up mastery system is that it, it doesn't, it's not compartmented into different, you started to go into that, that's where yes. the doorbell rang. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so did you want to keep running with it? Yes. Okay. okay. So, so instead of, um, so it, when, when up is very simple, but when you're trying to apply it from a lifestyle oh, right. of complexity, yeah. you have to unravel the complexity a bit. You have to understand a bit about why what you're already doing is complex in order mm -hmm. to get to the simple. And so that's why maybe in the book you're like, this is complicated. Why are they making it complicated? <laughs> yeah. I thought you said it's simple. <laughs> but to get, yeah, sometimes to get to the simple solution, you have to unravel the complexity of what you're currently doing. Yes, yes. So that, that's why it might, I might feel a little complex a little new anything new could feel a little bit complex or challenging yes yes anything new and then also just thinking about how um, when you when you understand more about how complex the system is that you're using and then going to simple how refreshing it is mm. how beautiful it is and when you see it's really just one system, it's really just one mm. thing, it's something to celebrate. So kind of make a ma maybe make a mm. mental note on that. When that starts to make more sense to you, then you can celebrate. <laughs> it's really exciting. Uh, one of the things that Stacy, we, we were chatting just before we turn on the recording, um, the part of the complexity, you have thousands of words for emotions, but then in the traditional system, those emotions are tied to or driven by conditions. So, yeah. so when you factor in the conditions that you've typically, that are typically driving those emotions, you have a system that's complex by hundreds of thousands of levels. Mm -hmm. Because if you think this is a separate emotion and these are the things that make you feel that way, yeah. And then this is a separate emotion. All of these are separate emotions and all of these conditions are the things that make you feel that way. It's dizzying. It's just yeah. Yeah, overwhelming. Yeah. And I love this example of Apple, how they took their products from, you know, 3,000 different, or I mean, was it 300? 300, yeah. yeah, 300 products to manage and brought it down to four. 
And so we're kind of doing that with emotions where there's 3,000 or more different words for emotions and a different strategy for each one that we want to narrow that down to just three themes. And so we're going to talk about them tomorrow. So, okay, cool. Yeah, thanks guys. Sorry about the interruptions, the doorbell. Yeah. <laughs> we just keep it rolling yeah, here. Yeah, let's go. My okay. Apple, and my brain my, <laughs> lost it. Uh, we'll, we'll tag team it when we need to. Yeah, <laughs> we got it back though, we didn't got we? To, yeah, yeah, we're back. Okay, thanks guys. See ya.